Let's see. 3DO. Or maybe I never tried it. Maybe it was just a YouTube I seen of it. I didn't understand why they thought it was so great. Neo Geo 3D CD. Average reviews. Rest in peace, the Sega CD, the Jaguar, the Game Boy, and the 32X. 98. We're starting on part three, it looks like, of this video. So this is going to be a while, huh? Flip faster. Talk faster. Game bought most by Steph. Mario Kart 64. Most addictive game, GoldenEye. Biggest vaporware again is the M2. Let's see. Actually, I'm not really caring for some of these. Best voice acting, Oddward, Oddworld Abe's Odyssey. Uh, worst voice acting, Mega Man 8. I'm, I'm going to skip through some of these. I'm getting kind of bored of these. But this one I really love. This is probably my favorite. The best middle of a game, Castlevania Symphony Night. I'm going to read this too. If you haven't yet finished Castlevania Symphony of the Night, and you may not want you may want to refrain from reading this possible spoiler. And this goes for anybody listening along in this video too. Strange award, isn't it? Well not too many games actually have middles, but in SOTN's case many of you uh may have thought your game was over when in fact it was only half finished. If you thoroughly searched the castle and managed to find the item necessary to see the evil that was controlling Richter Belmont's mind and then defeated it, a whole new area area of the game opened up an upside down version of the regular castle. Needless to say, this was a real shocker for those of us who didn't know about it before we got there. And boy were we excited to find that game it was only half over. If only more games would provide this kind of replayability. I think reading this is one of the reasons why I even bought the game. I was like, wow, amazing. And I still have my copy from when I bought around around this time, around 98 or something like that. You know, I, I, I literally had to buy a strategy guide to figure out how to how to get to the underground thing with the monkey thing and the ape in the barrel. <laughs> so I played I went through all the levels on that thing. Back from the dead, Game Boy Pocket. Really. Game that should have been stayed on the PC Hexen. Games that should have stayed in the arcades, War Gods. Hmm. Uh most diary in a game, Parappa the Rapper. You know I've still never played that. I've only played a demo of it. And I love the demo. Just never bought the game. Uh, uh, most overexposed Laura Croft. Eh, best movie to game. I, I like these ones. Goldeneye. Worst movie to game. The Crow. City of Angels. The worst use of a good license or worst use of the thing. Fantastic Four. Worst use of Adam West. Golden Nugget. <laughs> Poor Batman. Most hype for a game, Final Fantasy VII. Best sequel, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I could read that too, but this video is going on too long as it is. Uh, best cure for insomnia, Tale of the Sun. Got nighttime shakes. Has Counting Sheep failed you for the last time? If so, pick up a copy of Sony's Tale of the Sun for the PlayStation. Here's a game that's so slow and uninteresting, even our main character has to fall asleep. I'm about to rent that. <laughs> or buy it. Get a copy of that. Uh, best intro, Sword Blade. Worst intro, The Crow. Best ending, Final Fantasy VII. Uh, let's see here. Most promising company? Rare. Yeah, I guess they did make some of the best games ever, didn't they, at the time? Best 180 degree turnaround acclaim. I guess they made some good games after that, huh? System? Which system is the best? Tenda 64 has dropped 
7.59. Well, their games, favorite games again, Tetra, Tetra Spear, see if anything's changed too much. Star Fox, Soccer, pretty much the same. Top selling games, number one top selling game, of course, was Mario 64. The PlayStation jumps back up into first place. Takes just one year for that hype of the 64. I don't lie, I don't hate the 64. But the PlayStation was a better system, I think. The best games, pretty much the same games, I think. Don't see anything new on there except for Castlevania Symphony Night, which takes over the number one spot. Most the top selling game was Madden, 97. The Saturn, not so good. You know, I, I had an EGM or a Game Pro back in the day where, uh, hold on, I need to get a drink of water. Where the Saturn was trying to argue that, uh, that their system w hadn't been tapped out yet to its potential. That the programmers just, uh, hadn't found the trick yet to, to work, uh, to, to use the dual processors to its full capacity. And, w and once they learn it, and they learn the tricks, that they were going to blow away the PlayStation because the PlayStation had already reached its limit. And which of course was a bunch of BS because because even in that article at the end they, they mentioned that you know Tekken 2 which was a sequel to Tekken 1 blew Tekken, Tekken 1 out of the water. So you know they already showed that, that the system had could be you know the games could be better and the system hadn't been tapped out yet. I just found that interesting. I wish I still had that issue. I'd probably read that to you too. The favorite games for the Saturn, Sega Rally, Virtual Fighter, let's see, Knights, Guardian Heroes, Dragon Force, uh, Saturn Bomberman, Street Fighter Alpha 2. Top selling game was Madden 97. I guess Madden is top is a top selling game on every system. Super Nintendo still scoring kind of high mid-range. I think the games are all the same that were from before, so we'll skip that. Legend of Zelda, Super Mario All-Stars, Genesis, still not so great, which I think was the better system. The games, I think, are the same, I think, anyway. We'll just skim through these if you can read them. Strider, Gunstar Heroes. There, I think their lists changed out of the order, though. NHL Hockey 94. Game Boy Pocket, the Game dot com, huh? By Tiger Electric. Don't know about that one. Uh, I may have seen a YouTube of it. Let's see, the Nomad. I think I got higher scores this time than last time. I'm not sure. Maybe it's the same. Honoring the Dead. 32X died. Sega CD died. Didn't he die in the last issue? Or just the Honored Dead? Okay, where are we? We're going into the year 1999. We're probably going to go into part four of this video. <laughs> hope, I, hope I'm not boring anybody. Uh, best party game. WCW NWO Revenge for the 64. Boy, do I have to agree with that. Biggest vaporware, the 64 Double D. You know, it's the, uh, what was it, the CD add-on drive. Coolest boss, G. Darius. I want to, to skip around a little bit. Worst music, Spice Girls. Worst use of a license, Spawn. Game that should have stayed retro, Pitfall 3D. Game that should have stayed in the arcade, San Francisco Rush. Worst NFL ripoff, NFL Blitz ripoff was NFL Extreme. Uh, best showing of wood, the Moko Hujin, whatever it is. I think he was from Tekken, wasn't he? Yeah, I'm not sure. Tekken 3. Best case for Insomnia, Legend of River King. I'm not going to read that one. Uh, let's skip around a little bit here. Get to that, the ones that I like. Most hyped for a game, Metal Gear Solid. Best play-by-play, -play, NHL 99. I think I own that. Great commentary.